All right, so hello. Hi. Uh, it's been quite a while since my last upload. Uh, I've been pretty busy. Uh, also had some some things that I had to do. And, well, here I am again. Now, one of the things that I'd like to bring up right now is my first, my earliest Heisei Rider. Now, this is, um, I do have, um, quite a number of SHF or SH figure arts Kamen Rider figures and um, I will be showing them in the future. I already showed a few of them uh, specifically Revise which is my first my first purchase of the um, Reiwa era and also <coughs> Ghost Spectre and um, Kamen Rider 1 uh, as the movie as a movie figures and they're part of the well Kamen Rider Ghost Inspector are part of the Heisei era but what I want to show you guys today is my my earliest Heisei Kamen Rider or my earliest Heisei Rider which is Kamen Rider Den O. Now what I have is the 20 the 20 um 20 kicks version which is an updated version from the original from the original uh, figure line so it's more it's more of an updated version of the figure which is actually quite good because the previous editions since um, this is one of the earlier Heisei Kamen Riders which is actually from the first half or from the first 10 uh, it's some of those figures still had metal feet actually one of the, the earlier uh, SH figure arts figures had metal feet I guess it was for more for balance but at the end of the day, person on personal experience, it hasn't been very good because due to the weight of the metal feet, it, it, uh, over time, it does affect the hips, the hip joint of the figures. Now, I did have some old Iron Man figures uh, from the SHF Iron Man figures, and some of them had metal feet. And by the after a few years, taking them out of the box, the the hip the hip joint just broke and that's and, that, and that's also and that's been given me more or less like trauma for it since uh, at, at the end I don't want I don't want figures breaking up on me but it does happen but as much as possible I try to avoid um, SH figure arts figures with metal feet and but and also with the fact that they've been updated already it's going to be better in the new figures are going to be better detailed and also their articulations and an example for this is Kamen Rider Denno. Now Kamen Rider Denno is the eighth rider of the of the Heisei period. He started in 2007 which is more than 10 years ago now and um, and one of the things that is actually noteworthy about Kamen Rider Denno is its actor. Now, if you're familiar with uh, Rurouni Kenshin live-action movies, the guy who played Kenshin started out as the actor, as the main as the main actor for Kamen Rider Denno, and he is, ta he is Takeru Sato. So he started out, he started his career as a Kamen Rider, much like other uh, some other some other um, actors that we have who's been into more mainstream movies like Bleach, the actor there came from Kamen Rider Force and also with a bucket list from the dead is one of the one of the riders from Kamen Rider build. While Takeru Sato was the main character was the main actor for Kamen Rider then. And as with Kamen Riders, they do have different forms and different um, different armor. And this one is his main form, which is the sword form. But before I start with the figure, I'd also like to talk about a big, uh, small commentary about Kamen Rider Denno because it's really ahead of its time. You know, during 2007, when mental illness and mental are still not really uh, discussed too much, the character of um, the character that will become Kamen Rider Denno is one person with a lot of different personalities. So I guess he's basically schizophrenic. He's got different personalities in him. 
and different the different personalities becomes their own uh, version of the Kamen Rider. So he has like a little bit more like a conscience, a little demon in him. Then that per- then that influences the armor and that influences the weapons that Kamen Rider Denno has. And that's pretty pretty groundbreaking, uh, especially coming from um, coming from uh, from Asian series. And that's one of the noteworthy things about Kamen Rider Denno. Now onto the figure. So again, this is the twenty the twentieth um, the twenty kicks version, which is the anniversary version uh, of the figures. And it's not like the old figures wherein they had more weapons. This is more like a condensed version of um, of the Kamen Riders. But then again, I do like this better because number one, it doesn't have metal feet. Uh, it's also, the, the details are more updated. Even despite the weapons not being too much. Okay. It, that, well, it is a little bit dated since I've been, I've had this for quite a while already. And um, so this is the figure out of the box. It's actually two, two items inside. And so this is Kamen Rider Denno sword form. It is his main, um, main, main armor. And the good thing about this is that the great level of detail. Now. It has been updated already because the previous one is a little bit thinner. Now it's now it's a little more robust. The armor is a little bit more, it's a little bulkier, but the color and articulation is still still top notch. Now another thing also is that it also includes some weapons. Now in the pack, as is as with most SH figure arts, it has the alternate hands. And it includes some uh, some accessories, specifically the sword, which is the reason why he's called the sword form, which is the long version of the sword. And then his weapon in a collapsed form. Now these are. These are parts of his weapons that will be connected to his that will be connected to the sides of his uh, figure, much like a utility belt, and which in the series would be transformed into different weapons. And lastly, which is the great and annoying thing about SH Figure Wars is the small detail. And that is like the card that he uses to transform. It's just like a black card, like a black, uh, it's like a black, I don't know, more like a cassette, which he uses to activate in his belt. Uh, the, the use, it looks more like a tablet, but it's something that he uses to activate his belt. And these are some things that, and that's it, that's actually basically it. The 20 kicks version is a lot more simple in a sense that. The reason it's there is to celebrate the, the 20 Kamen Riders that, that has been in the Heisei era. So most of their accessories are not there, but it's basically it's really more to display and basically more to commemorate the different figures. But for me, I like it since um, it's less figures, it's less accessories to to take care of. But it's also but but the figures are. A lot more detailed, better. I, I would say personally, it's better, do, better made since it's newer, and um, and it's more updated. And especially with the with the attention to detail and color, and the color of everything. And this is actually, um, I am more familiar with the later part since the Heisei period is a twenty-year period when we had the Kamen Rider every year, and. This is actually my only um, Kamen Rider from the first 10 years. And my most of my Kamen Riders are from the last part of the year, from the last decade. Actually, from the last decade, I have 9 out of the 10 figures. I don't have Kamen Rider W 
Um, I don't know why, but I'm still trying my best to get one, and um, and I'll be I'll be showing more you guys more of this. But I just like to put this out first since he is the only one from he is the only one from the um, from the first ten that I have, and it's actually very noteworthy because of course the um, the the actor who played the actor who played Deno went on to become more famous than he than than Cameron Ryder. He's Kenshin. He's Ronnie. He's he's, Ken, he's Himura Kenshin. You know he became so big already, and he started with Cameron Ryder. So um, that's actually that's basically it. You know um, articulations always good with SH figure arts. Um, the um, but definitely I like this more since it's more robust. Uh, he looks a lot, a lot meatier than his previous form. And this is also one of, personally, one of the more famous Kamen Riders that, that has been released under the Heisei era. And um, he's not my favorite. No, he hasn't. My favorites, my favorite, as I said before, is Fours, uh, due to the positive positivity and also um, that he is also one of the more. E I mean the easier ones to easier ones to understand in terms of weapons and, and abilities but this is one of I would still say one of the prettiest Kamen Riders and one of um, one of the ones I really like in terms of looks you know this is just like um, and I do hope that you can try this out you know um, unfortunately these figures there's actually an even upgraded version of this which is the the SS version, it's Japan. It's a long one, saying Hoku Seicho. I really can't pronounce it well. They have the SS version, which is even more detailed than this. But um, with that much detail, it's it, that's a higher price. I haven't gotten it yet since I already have this, which for me is already a great version. So if you guys would like to try it out, um, unfortunately, it's actually pretty. It's it's pretty hard to find now since. Uh, it's been an he's an old rider, but there are people still selling these uh, in the secondhand market or in Japan. So if you're familiar with this, you can try out Kamen Rider. Check out the episodes from Kamen Rider Deno, and um, and see the great figure. You know, I do have another figure. I actually have a line of uh, chibi or super deformed figures of these. I actually have, I actually have three figures of that um, one of them is this one of them is Deno no actually four I have uh, Deno um, game fours of course and uh, wizard and I'll be showing that soon the super deformed ones but uh, I guess I'll start with the main figures first so um, well it's been nice coming back you know oh my shirt yes my shirt Thundercats yes one of the few shirts uh, one of the few uh, cartoon related shirts I have so uh, that's an 80s uh, 80s reference there but it's one of the things that um, but just like to share my Cameron Rider Deno and um, I hope that you enjoy this for people who are watching uh, thank you thank you for watching and uh, I'm back so have a great day enjoy the rest of the day and henshin <laughs>